everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently, I watched um, <clears throat> How to Train Your Dragon, Gift of the Night Fury, and <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I thought that it was a outstanding holiday special. I don't know why they didn't um, show it on TV with the rest of the holiday specials that DreamWorks is known for doing, and uh, next to the Kung Fu Panda holiday, which is at the top of my list, this would have to be the second one, and then uh, Mary Madagascar. Um, <clears throat> the animation is fantastic, and the story is <laughs> really great. It takes place in Burke, which we've been familiarized with in the first film. And they have a holiday called Snoggle Toss, <laughs> which is their version of Christmas. And it's kind of a weird name for a holiday, I would think, but it's it's really great. And it's it's got more of that mythology that um, you've come to uh, appreciate. And the dragons, I, I just, uh, I'm a huge fan of dragons. I, I love dragons. And um, I think that their dragons are really unbelievable and uh, I'm not going to say what the story is about because it's uh, it's really fantastically done and it's very heartwarming as well and it just it, it makes another really good holiday special I believe and it, if you if you get the the version that sold at Walmart it comes with uh, uh, Book of Dragons, which is actually a game. I have both the discs here. I've got say, uh, Gift of the Night Fury. And then this came with it in the combo pack. The uh, the Book of Dragons. And in that particular one, they have one of my favorite voice actors, uh, Jim Cummings, who who voices uh, Bork the Unfortunate. Actually, Bork the very unfortunate and uh, he was Bork the Unfortunate before he became Bork the Bold and Bork the Bold came across all sorts of different classes of dragons and it's, it kind of reminds me of Pokemon in a way because every dragon has their own class you've got Mystery, you've got Sharp, you've got uh, uh, Water, you've got um, let's see, you've got one that's called um, Fear, you've got um, Scorchers, and uh, Rock, <laughs> or Boulder, they're called Boulder, um, and uh, you get to learn about the different dragons in these particular classes, as, as they're known, or species, I would say species. The Mystery Dragon really uh, made me reminisce about uh, Anne McCaffrey's Hall of Pern, and with her black dragons, they spit acid and they're changelings. I thought, yeah, you got your idea from Anne McCaffrey. Um, but it was uh, really well done. I had always wanted to see a, how, how a changeling would be depicted, and I, I think that it would have done even Anne McCaffrey proud, but it was just... Um, really spectacular and I, I love it. I didn't I didn't play the game because I, I just really don't have time for that but um, the the idea is really um, innovative and it's uh, just a good idea to get people interested in uh, playing a, an MMORPG and uh, there was actually something that was uh, featured on the Book of Dragons as a, an extra and they have a, um, a, an arena experience just like uh, the world of dinosaurs and it's already in production in Australia but apparently and good news for all of us How to Train Your Dragon fans and dragon lovers alike they're they're going to do an arena spectacular of uh, dragons I thought oh, oh, this is spectacular and it's like I said <laughs> the name suits it it's really marvelous the the way they uh, depict the dragons is just unreal, and I would just, I would love to see this. I would, I would, I would be like a little kid in a candy shop. I would adore it. I'm, I'm sure I would just thrill it every minute because um, I, 
adore dragons. <laughs> what more can I say? I, I've always loved dragons ever since I was a little girl. And um, I think that the um, the Christmas special, The Gift of the Night Fairy, five stars. I absolutely loved every moment of it. All the original voices are, are in it, just like with the Book of Dragons, including Jim Cummings, who <laughs> in, in the the animation where they show poor poor Bork the very unfortunate before he became Bork the Bold. Um, he doesn't speak. He just he has a lot of uh, what sounds like. Uh, Norse ramblings and <laughs> I would love to sit my friend Jan down and I would say Jan is this really Norwegian he would say no it's not Norwegian at all <laughs> it's gibberish <laughs> it's just like with the Swedish chef and his Swedish yeah it's not really Swedish but um <laughs> I was trying to do a Swedish accent there but it uh <laughs> I, I really am glad that DreamWorks decided to keep the original voice actors and um, give us this holiday special. And I know it came out during my birthday. It came out a little bit early, but it's well worth seeing during the holidays just because it's got so much beauty to it. The, the decorations on Berg are just gorgeous. It's really breathtaking. And it's funny how um, Hiccup describes uh, Burke near the very end of the feature uh, he says winter in Burke lasts forever it's a time of the year where it grabs on with both hands and doesn't let go <laughs> and I thought yeah that sounds like Iceland or <laughs> Russia <laughs> or Siberia for that matter and you know, my friends could tell you that's the truth <laughs> but um, it's uh, really quite a, a lovely holiday feature and it just it gives me a lot of joy and uh, I almost cried at, at one point in time I'm not going to say what um, occurrence nearly made me wet, weep but um, it was uh, just a really resplendent holiday special and if you're a fan of how to train your dragon get get the double pack because the double pack I think is better and it has more to it and it's um, definitely more enjoyable and the book of dragons is just awesome it's what um, dragon riders of Pern could have been if um, if it had been made into a cinematic feature, I feel. That's just, just my opinion. And I think that they did get a lot of their inspiration from Pern. If I can so say, I don't know if Anne knows this or not. Maybe she should say, <laughs> uh, she probably wouldn't. I, I hope not. You know, fingers crossed. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But I, I've i really um, thrilled and um, been transfixed with, with the series uh, that they've put out and I'm hoping they do a sequel and uh, maybe they will because they've, they've got the material they got plenty of uh, different species to work with and I, I actually don't know how they would top the first film now, they did that with Kung Fu Panda 2 and they and they did do that with Madagascar so we shall see and of course uh, there is a threequel with uh, Madagascar it actually looks better than the second one. It's, it's uh, just adding to the, the humor of it, and I'm really looking forward to it. It looks great. Hope they don't ruin it. Please don't put it under the, the threequel curse. Please, God, no. Anything but that. But anyway, as I was saying, the, um, the movie is certainly a must watch, and it, if you're a fan, of well the original movie or dragons themselves or um, Vikings <laughs> even Vikings is well worth it it's it's definitely marvelous and, and spectacular so check it out and Merry Christmas everybody <laughs>